Hey guys, this is Rahil from CypherLeague.com back with another video in our series for Angular 2. Just to let you know guys, uh, we are building an application with Angular 2 and in this video tutorial we'll learn working with components and modules. Uh, we have already set up our machine for developing apps with Angular 2 and uh, in our pre previous video tutorial we uh, ran a really small app. Two things I missed out from the previous video tutorial was uh, to show you guys the transpile JS folder. So what happened was when we ran npm start, so the TypeScript compiler went ahead and compiled all the TypeScript files into this folder. So if you can see, and this was the main.js file that we are referring to in the systems config.js. Another thing we have here is the index.html file where we are basically um, loading a few files uh, we are uh, including a style sheet and i have gone ahead and included a bootstrap css for this application you might just skip it if you want it's just to add a bit of stylings and over here we have also included the system js.config.js all right so let's get started with components so a quick start app comes with, already comes up with a root component and a root module so so angular apps ship in modules so every angular app you make will have at least one root module for smaller apps one module is obviously enough but if your app starts to grow larger and bigger you can separate out modules based on features so if you see over here we are uh, importing ng module from angular slash core we are importing browser module from platform hyphen browser and there are other other modules that angular uh, ships for example there are there is a form module or the http module the difference you're seeing here right now when we are importing a root component is that we are specifying a full path to import our components and for importing things from node module folder we can just quite simply do add the rate and the module name this add the rate ng module decorator tells TypeScript to treat app module as a module so it takes in a few parameters we have the imports declarations and bootstrap under imports you you may uh, include other modules your app might be using so right now we have included the browser module under declaration you declare all your directives and components and with bootstrap you specify your root component so for us our root component is the app component let's just head over to it and have a look so components in angular 2 are basically angular 2 directives and we tell the typescript in angular 2 that this class is a component by using the add the rate component decorator which is available from angular slash core a component always has a template or a template URL and a selector. So what a selector does is uh, it's a basic it's basically a way to uh, include your component into HTML. So if you want to display this component somewhere in your HTML, what you'll do is you will create the tags with that selector. So all your content from the root component will be loaded between these two tags. The other uh, important app options a component decorator takes in are directives, which in our case would be empty, and providers, which would be empty right now as well. If you see our uh, app component class has nothing in it, let's just go ahead and define a property and try to display it on the screen. So to display this property uh, in our template, we'll use a curly braces. Now I think we should have it displayed on the screen. Welcome to Syfy app. Let me just add it as a title. All right, we are good. 
Um, now what we'll do is we'll try to create a child component and try to display it with our root component. So let me just go ahead and create a new folder as home. And I'll create in two files home.ts and home.component.html. So let's import component from core. If you notice, uh, I left these curly braces blank. That is because uh, Visual Studio Code provides me IntelliSense and that way I don't have to type in the entire thing. Alright, now let me just copy and paste it from what we have over here. So we'll make it as app slash hyphen home and we are putting it in home slash app dot oops this would be home dot component dot html notice the no naming conventions we are using uh, these are the preferred naming conventions endorsed by the angular 2 team so whenever you're making a new component uh, the template would be named as home dot component dot html and the uh, TypeScript will go as home.component.ts. Similarly for specs and CSS. And also your class will be your component name and then component. So message, this is our home component. So I think we have a component ready. Now what we want to do is we want to display use this component into a root component. So for this we have two options. One we can use the selector or maybe we can link it using the route. So right now we'll just use the selector. So we'll go into app component say Slash home. We don't th need these. My mouse is behaving weirdly right now. Not sure. Okay. Um, in our home component template, let's just display the message. Now if you go into the screen you'll see probably sorry you'll probably see nothing here and yes that is because we haven't yet declared our component into our module. So what we need to do is and guys do remember this thing because I, I usually tend to forget this out. So what you need to do is you need to declare all your components under declarations on your module. right next to app component so now we should be able to see the message and here you go this is the home component pretty easy right so for now we we'll, uh, for this video tutorial we'll just keep it to here um, in our next video tutorial we'll see how we can uh, hook up components with routes until next video peace